yeah, this is the same thing that happened last time. And I tried to skip it. And it was like, do you do it by your, like, without it? No! Dolores! <laughs> Dolores is dead! Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays 60 Seconds. Last time it was Mr. Red... Uh, forget it. Hi guys, this is a game, and we're gonna try to beat it today. Or at least we're gonna try to survive this nuclear apocalypse. Ring, ring! They were thinking we would never hear... There we were. Boy, it's hard to read. Thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? No. Hey, could I just say no? Sit out, Timmy. Whoops, I said no. Damn it. Oh, I thought I clicked Timmy. I thought I clicked Timmy. Ooh, Dolores. Good God, Dolores. You need some help. You need some medicine. Uh, it's way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It took a while for the ringing to stop. It's pretty annoying. Okay. All right. Everybody's fine except Dolores. His health is not approved. And nobody needs any food or anything. I really wish I could help Dolores. Whoops. Uh-oh. Okay, go back. Okay. No, I don't want to send any expeditions. Noises from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner that no one's been that's been locked the one that's been locked tight ever since we got to the shelter. Ow! I scratched my scratched my arm, my elbow against the wall, the brick wall. It's not brick, it's like wood. Here, check this out actually. This is bizarre. <laughs> yeah, it's like wood it Hey look, you guys can see I got a ring light. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I can pick up my uh pick up my little uh uh camera thing. Yeah, you can see I literally just have this segmented off for the, um, for the, what do, you, what do you call it? What's this stuff called? Foam stuff. Anyway, sorry about that. Here, why don't I go ahead and set that up? Oh, no, now it's going to be all messed up. Okay, hold on. All right, that should be good or at least tolerable. Sorry, I did that. That was a mistake. All right, yeah, let's check it out. Why not, right? <clears throat> eh, worth a try. I'll probably be saved any day now. Plus, what was that? What was that, though? What the hell? We barely made it out alive. It was a giant mutated crocodile or an alligator and plenty of teeth. With a giant mouth and plenty of teeth. Is anyone hurt? Uh, okay, Mary needs something to drink. Everybody needs water, except Dolores. Okay. Everybody needs water. I'll just give everybody water. We could all use some water. Okay, that was a bad thing. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sharkov was found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on her table, tapped with a big meowing. Furball, what is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take away the wire, so maybe it's supposed to leave it be, or should we examine that wire? Yeah, let's examine it. I don't want to just leave it there. What was that? Oh, knock knocking on the door. Hello? Yes, don't come in. We grabbed the cable and followed it to a rusty old truck parked in the neighbor's driveway. Upon opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. They wiretapped our shelter when we were asleep and said they were listening to everything we said. We gave them hell and marched back to our bunker. Uh-oh. Why? Why were they doing that? Who were those people? Timmy needs food. Timmy? Take some food, Timmy. All right, no. There was a knock on the door. The agents who were spying on us are now at the door and want to explain themselves. Should we hear them out? Yeah, I want to know what the hell their deal is. I thought that might have been uh, the US military. Okay, what did they say? What what do they got for us? They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in our faces and told us they're on a top secret government mission. The wiretap wasn't to spy on us, but rather on the cat. It's suspected of being a Soviet agent. What do you what do you mean? I am not a Soviet agent. They're willing to let us into their super top secret government safe house if we help them with some of their top secret missions. They assured us that they contacted us again with more details. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Okay, Ted is hungry. Wait. What about, what about Mary Jane? Yeah, okay. So Ted needs food. Ted, take some food, Ted. Uh so that cat's a problem, I th think. Yeah, whew. Uh, what, what, what's gonna happen with that cat? We've always wanted to throw a party for 
with a huge cake. For some reason, it never worked. One time we were promised a great cake and it turned out it was a lie. Okay, that was a disappointment. <laughs> we weren't glad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're definitely getting a cake when the radioactive clouds are gone. Well, that's good to know. So I'm gonna go, go on, am I gonna go on missions for these people? I don't want to. We can make it, we can make it work even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that's the best way to get to Europe. Okay. Water, water, water. And Dolores needs food. Okay, everybody needs water. Boom, and Dolores needs food. And medicine. Nobody's going outside. How about we put that radio to good use? Someone might be on the air now. Yeah, let's listen to it. Whoops, I accidentally turned the battery mode, low battery mode on my phone. Yeah, um, sometimes, because I, I have my phone on and it just uh, runs for the timer and the battery runs out. And sometimes when it says low power mode, I automatically hit yes to turn it on and then it just goes to sleep. So I have to turn it off. Sorry about that. We were able to tune in and get rid of just enough static to listen to a very energetic and lively speaker. He seemed well informed and mentioned how helpful tips, a few helpful tips, that should make it easier for us to survive the next expedition. Good. Okay, food for Mary Jane. Uh-oh, Dolores is dying. Wait, what? What's this now? Her injuries need to be fixed ASAP. Uh-oh. Okay, so the only person who needs food is Mary Jane. Good. That's the only one. All right. I'm nervous about what's going to happen with Dolores. I don't like... I don't like this. I don't want... I don't want Dolores to die. The day has come. We can't keep lying to ourselves. The shelter isn't big enough for all of us. Someone has to leave and make their own luck in the radioactive wasteland. What? No, I'm not doing this. I'm not making this decision. I mean, Dolores is not long for this world anyway, so I don't think we'll have to worry about that so long, but... Oh, God. This is bad. Okay. Sure, we may be dehydrated, starving, terribly injured, deathly sick, and going insane, but that's no reason to kick anyone out. A family that survives an atomic blast together stays together. That's our motto, and we'll stick with each other till the bitter end. Which is coming fast, we might all die tomorrow, but at least we'll have the moral high ground. Which is undeniably the biggest priority in this situation. I don't know. Okay, uh, everybody's fine. Except Dolores. Well, that's it then. I'm not going out. Well, actually, we got that ri that news. Yeah, I guess we will. It seems we're going to be here longer than I thought. Uh, everything would be fine if it wasn't for Dolores. She doesn't seem well. She used to be so energetic. Now she just sits there and sulks. We should do something about it. Why is this the option? Why is this the option? Why is this the option? I'm assuming the Boy Scouts would help if I had that. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. No, I don't like it. I don't like that the option is that. Day 33, how long? Just say, Dolores, no. Shuttercock proved today the cats could be man's best friend after all. When Dolores was staring at the wall absentmindedly, the cat tried to cheer her up by taking a nap on her lap. Dolores complains that Shuttercock left its hair everywhere, but there's no denying that she seems happier than before. Aww. Avoiding problems is always the best solution. <laughs> So we were truly surprised when Dolores went completely crazy. Uh-oh. Okay. Dolores can't remain this thirsty for long. Oh, she needs water. Sanity is questionable. Okay. So everybody needs water. Yeah, everybody needs water, and that seems to be it. Oh, no. Maybe if I sent somebody on an expedition, then they would actually be... Uh... Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. Let's send out... He hasn't gone. Do I have a briefcase, by the way? Yeah. Just take everything. At this... Not that. Yeah. At this point... That's good. Okay. At this point, if... If... if uh, I'm gonna... It's almost over for me, anyway. Oh. Uh-oh, are you sick, too? Oh, no! Mary Jane is sick, too! Uh, looks like Sharikov snuck out to hunt out in the wasteland last night. This morning, we found a dead glowing rat on our doorstep. Sharikov seems pleased with his gift for us and quickly expressed his disappointment when we threw it far away from our home. Nothing good will probably come from touching dead radioactive rodents, though, so maybe we should have just left it where we found it. Uh-oh. Mary Jane caught something nasty. Timmy is very hungry. Okay, Timmy needs food. Timmy. Timmy, get some food, Timmy. Oh, God. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly, and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We we're almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it's not so there's something they need us to do fast. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is the same thing that happened last time. And I tried to skip it. And it was like, do you do it by your, like, without it? No! 
Dolores! Dolores is dead! Oh god, that's fucked. Look at this! She still has her hair! And the kids... And the cat's just like, yeah, that was delicious. Oh god, okay. Dolores suffered with her injuries for too long. When the infection spread, there was nothing we could do. And we didn't find the location. Uh, are there any- aren't there any drugs we could give Mary Jane? And nothing new to report on Timmy. Yeah, he's fine. Well, <laughs> Mary Jane looks like you're next. Oh god. One minute it was all fine, and the next we're at each other's throats. It's just the kids alone by themselves and the cat. How awful is this? How awful? Oh god, she's still there! Enough arguing. Okay, water. They need some water. Oh, I'm running out of water. Playing a game or two might be a good way to relieve the mood. Yeah, that'd be good. Playing a game, we have checkers. Oh, I think Dad's back. Oh, yeah, I got bad news for you. Things are not looking well here. Okay. Oh, we got we got that stuff back. All right. What else? We got one soup and one water. Well, okay. Mary Jane and Ted need food, and he's tired. I was really hoping. I was really hoping that I would get some medicine. Okay. We didn't expect. Okay. There's a phone call. I'm going out. I gotta go out and check on that. I know you're tired, but. Knocking on the door? Oh god, what's happening? Okay, when we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a uh, gasp of relief from the caller. They were survivors from a nearby hill valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Weird. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Yeah. Mary Jane is still rather sick. Uh-oh. Okay, Ted is hungry. Ted needs food. Ted, take some food, Ted. Okay, using a high-tech setup involving paper cups and yard strings, the agents ring in with our next top secret mission that will surely land us the VIP bunker very soon. They want us to go on one successful expedition and write down what we saw on the journal, easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Nobody's really in a good state to go out there, especially Dolores. Well, who's the least bad? Hired to Hired. Hungry, tired, fatigued, sick and fatigued, or just fatigued. Timmy, looks like you got yourself a mission. You'll be fine, right, Timmy? Oh, God, Timmy, no. Oh, God. Oh, Dolores. <laughs> Dolores, why? I mean, I know why. It's because I didn't have enough medicine and, uh, didn't go out to get some. We graciously agreed to fill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised that they would be back with more information soon. Okay. Mary Jane needs some water, and Ted needs food. Mary Jane, water, Ted, food, there we go, got it. Okay, every new every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. Uh, so there isn't much we can miss, so when a quick br single brick fell out from the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out and see what the source of that smell is. Uh, yeah, what's the option? Other option, not to. Just sit there and wait. That seems bailed. What was that? What was that? Uh, oh, the radio! We approached the hole cautiously. Whatever happened next nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent or a reptile or whatever this crazy mad creature was leapt out and started jumping all over the damn shelter. It was everywhere. We couldn't catch it before we could do anything. It pushed our radio off the table and went back to the hole it crawled from. We never saw it again. No, not the radio. Ted is hungry and thirsty. Mary Jane doesn't seem to be, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Borrow some of their supplies? Oh, there's... Oh, no! Old folks! Oh, no! I don't want to do this! No, I'm not doing this. This is bad times. This is bad times. Oh, is Timmy back? Timmy, what happened? Explain yourself, Timmy. Did you get some medicine, at least? We're no bandits. Yeah, okay. That recon mission was risky business. That's a movie. We had to visit neighborhoods that were dicey, even the best of times. The area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs, all of them armed to the teeth. We barely made it out of there alive, but the agents seem to appreciate our efforts. Let's hope those missions are actually worth it. 
Our bucket is just about due for an upgrade and we're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent bathtub, maybe even a hot tub bathroom. Okay, if we don't cure Mary Jane soon, who knows what will happen? I have an idea! Oh no, Timmy got hurt and Ted is hungry. Okay, Ted, eat something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Mary Jane is feeling excellent, is she? I don't know about all that. Mary Jane has been awful silent today. This is very unlike her. Should we try talking to her? This is bad times. This is real bad times. Yeah, talk to her. See what's up. Talk to her. Hello? What happened? What's going on? Nothing solved problem better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the ladder, but talking alone seems to do the trick. Oh, well that's it then. Okay. That's just it then. I thought there'd have to be something to do? Water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. Timmy is very hungry. Okay. Water. Food. Ted is okay. Good. Uh, wait, what? Which one is which? Uh, 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 Mary Jane needs water. Okay. Boom and boom. Oh, I'm running out of water! I'm running out of everything! Who should go outside? You should. Take the X. Yeah, take the X. That's all we have, really. Okay. She'll be fine, I think. I hope. Oh, God. Send Sherikov out. What are you doing up there? Nothing. Jane went outside. We can't leave Timmy without water too long. Okay. Everybody needs water. Oh, and that's all I have left. That's it. I'm out of water. We saw something strange on our way back from the expedition. Chain of lights on the horizon. Pulsing and flashing in a chaotic manner? Didn't make much sense at the time. But when we discussed it in the shelter, Timmy said it might be a secret scout signal. What's all this? Are these like flies? He would need to check out the signal bay himself. Dakota isn't using the scout book. Oh, I don't have it. Oh no. I am underprepared for all this. Till the hardest. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, everybody's fine, it seems. Now nah, we're good. Okay. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Day 45. Day 45. Uh-oh. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. All Ted wishes are for a few drops of water. <laughs> oh, no. You can have some soup. There you go. Oh, no. The agents came back with another request. We, we are to generously provide either a couple soup cans or some water bottles for an agent. Oh, wait. Maybe I can do this. Oops. Maybe I can do this. Oh, I don't have... Wait. A full soup can. Maybe I just need one full soup can. Oh no, I can't. I can't do it. Wait, did I not feed them? Oh, I didn't feed. Wait, knock on the door. Hello? Mary Jane was supposed to be back in, in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. We're not giving them anything, at least not this time. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to get a water now. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink of water. Oh, God, why? We found an anonymous note next to our shelter door. Whoever wrote it requested we send one representative to a meeting tonight in a set location. That person must come on unarmed. This bit worries us, but the author assures us that he or she is friendly and doesn't mean to hurt us. We're going to send anyone to check it out? Sure. Timmy, go check it out. It's probably fine. He's back, I think. The meeting was organized by twin siblings, a brother and sister, who took it upon themselves to scout the remains of the city looking for trustworthy and decent people. They seemed honest about their intentions and were more than happy to meet them again. They said they know where to contact us, where to find us, and they're going to contact us if they need any help. Okay. Good. I need to be rescued. Okay. Nothing new is going on with Timmy. That's good. Oh, Ted is rested. So, at least he's ha happier. And I am out of food and water. We played a game of list of things you hate the most and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now's the time to finally find out. But who will do the honors of stealing the possession of our arch nemesis? Well, Ted seems to have rested up, so why don't you go ahead and check it out? Probably nothing bad will happen to him. Yeah, he seems fine. What'd you find in there, Ted? Hey, one soup. That's good. Okay, good. Nothing new to report on Timmy, and everybody seems fine. Relatively speaking, anyway. Yeah, good. 
Mary Jane's dead. Uh, yeah. That's not gonna happen. Alright, we'll send out Timmy then. Send Timmy out tomorrow. Oh god, I am failing at this. This is bad times. This is such bad times. Alright, Timmy, you ready to ready to hit the bricks? Okay, we played I Spy and it was pretty fun. Yeah, okay, good. Alright, ration supplies. Everybody get some suit. Well, you don't need some suit, Timmy. You're gonna be gone soon. And you, yeah, 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 we're fine. Okay, everybody's fine. Okay, Timmy. Yeah, take, I guess, this. I don't know what that's for, but... Yeah, the last person who took something out the axe is, uh, never come back, so... Oh, it's just Ted and his dead wife. Oh, God. Where's water when Ted needs it? I don't know! There's no water! I'm out! The agents are back. I don't have anything for you, agents. Ted, live! Live, Ted! Ted, live! Oh, he's alive. You're gonna have to eat Sharikov. Actually, you're gonna have to drink some water. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. What do we got? Day 53. Oh, still alive, okay. Oh boy. I need to be rescued stat. Okay. All right. Let's see, we really missed the life we had. The space, the sky, the food, more food. The people that weren't dead. We wish we could go back to a time before this damned bomb dropped. Yeah, remember those good times? The end, oh no, what happened? Ted died! Oh, Ted died! That's nightmarish, that's horrifying, actually. Oh no, Ted died, who knows? Maybe the new world will offer new opportunities and it won't be that bad. Timmy could sneak like a secret agent man, but that might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders camp near our shelter. We could probably assume he isn't coming back. Too many days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task. We can tell you that much. We held out for 54 days. That's not good. It's not bad. Big brother. All this stuff happened to us. Wow. We've had some good times, haven't we? Well... I died. You perished. Cool. Day survived, 54. Water consumed, 12. Soups consumed, 11 and a half. Hey, that's almost fine. Almost the same, rather. Uh, wait, 8 out of 10 successful expeditions. Was I supposed to do 10 of those? Wait a second. Was I supposed to do 10 expeditions and that's how I would win? Interesting. Hmm. Alright, great. Well, that... I guess has been 60 seconds, really. I mean, if you think about it. But if you don't think about it, it hasn't been. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in in two days for something else. Tune in tomorrow for something else else. Maybe Animal Crossing? I don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, I didn't wait a second. Why didn't I get this? Why didn't I get this? I should have got this. I should have got this. I survived five days in my fallout shelter. I lasted 10 days. I stayed in it for 20 days. 40. Huh. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go hug my loved ones and be happy that we're not living in this nightmare hellscape. And uh, why don't you guys go ahead and watch more of my stuff? I have lots of episodes on things. Do that. And I'll see you again soon. I can't begin to tell you what's coming next. So just whatever you want to do, just stay tuned. Make sure you're notified, subscribed, all that stuff. And I hope to see you again. Bye, everyone.